Summary The Egg Bee Sherwood Anderson At the start of the story, we learn about the narrator's parents. The narrator says that his father, a farmhand, was a lazy person before he married his teacher mother. The birth of the narrator seems to be the event that starts the story. After he is born, for the first time in their lives, his parents start to work hard. The storyteller says that this is because his mother is a teacher and, by extension, a reader. He thinks that his mother wanted more for her family because she was well-read and knew what the world had to offer. The action keeps getting better as the narrator talks about how his parents' first attempt at success was a chicken farm that failed for 10 years. In this part, the narrator spends some time setting up the symbolic meaning of eggs by talking about how growing up on a chicken farm made him lose faith in the world at a young age. He writes, from the start, they gave me bad feelings, and if I'm a gloomy person who tends to see the bad in life, I blame the fact that I spent what should have been my happy, joyful childhood days on a chicken farm. Since the narrator's family didn't do well financially, he drew a parallel between the lives of chickens and his family's failed attempts to do well. The action keeps getting better as the narrator's parents start a restaurant. In this part, the author talks about the grotesques that his father put on display. These are chickens that were born with weird features and didn't live long. The narrator's father seemed to think that the grotesques would have made him famous if they had lived. He keeps them as entertainment for customers, thinking that they would be interested in these strange and wonderful things. This trick turns out to be another sign of how bad his parents were, and it's important to the story later on. The narrator's father thinks that the strange things will make people interested, but he is wrong. One night, while the narrator's father is working the night shift at the restaurant, a man from Bidwell named Joe Kane comes in. He ends up being the target of pointless attempts to entertain him. While the narrator's father works the night shift, he comes up with a plan to get more money by entertaining the young people from Birdwell. Joe Kane's visit gives him his first chance to do this. Unfortunately, the narrator's father is not a natural extrovert. When he tries to talk to Joe about Christopher Columbus, Joe thinks that his anger is real, and when he tries to entertain the customer, the customer thinks that he is slightly crazy but harmless. The first trick is to put an egg on a table and make it stand up. When the narrator's father finally pulls off the amazing feat, Joe has lost interest because the project takes so long. This is where the grotesques come in. The narrator's father takes the grotesques off the shelf to show the visitor, which makes Joe feel sick and try to leave even though it's raining. After getting Joe to stay, Joe's father tries one last trick, putting an egg in a bottle. As if he were a novelty shop, he tells Joe that he can have the cool egg in a bottle after he puts it in the bottle and shows it to everyone. He probably thinks that if Joe shows it off, it will bring more people to the restaurant. The most exciting part of the story is when the narrator's father tries to put the egg that has been softened by vinegar into a bottle. Joe laughs at him when the egg breaks. This makes the father angry, so as Joe leaves the restaurant, he throws an egg at his head. The narrator's father thinks that Joe should be more interested in eggs and chickens than he is. The story ends with his father crying in front of the narrator and his mother, then closing the restaurant early to go to sleep. The egg becomes a symbol of how the family failed to achieve the American dream, but it is still a success because the narrator and his father are still interested in it.